Let's say you have created an animation like this, and now you want to convert it into a video, with a transparent background, so that you can overlay that tree on any other video. So in this tutorial, we'll learn how to do that. We need to do it in two steps, and in the first step, we have to render this animation as an image sequence, with a transparent background. So we have to go to the Render Properties tab, in the Properties Editor, and expand the section called Film. Here, we have to enable the option called Transparent. Then we need to go to this Output Properties. You can set the range of frames here, that you want to render for this video, and we must select the RGBA option, under Color, which gives us the Alpha or the Transparency. RGB stands for Red, Green, and Blue, without any Alpha, so we must select the RGBA option. Then in the File Format, we have to select an image format that supports transparency, like PNG or OpenEXR. We'll go with PNG. And for the output location, we need to select a folder, where we want to keep or store this image sequence. Once everything is set, if we render this animation, we'll get a set of image files like this, in the output folder. Then in the second step, we have to open Blender's Video Sequence Editor, or VSE, from here. Then go to the Add menu, and select Image Sequence. Here we have to open the folder, where we have kept our rendered image files. Now select any one file, and press A, to select all the files together, and then add them as an image strip. So we'll get that image sequence here as a strip. But the default settings won't give us a transparent video, we need to modify some settings in the output properties. The first thing that you'll notice is, we don't have any alpha, or RGBA option in the color section. So expand this encoding section, and then from this video codex, we have to select an option that supports transparency. There are only three options that will work perfectly, one of them is this FFMPEG video codec one. Or you can use this Huffman YUV which is also good, or you can select the QuickTime encoder. If you select QuickTime, you'll need to also change the container type to QuickTime. But in the other cases, you'll probably select either the Huffman codec or FFMPEG, and then you should also change the container type to Matroska. As soon as we change the codec, you'll notice that a new option is now visible here, as RGBA. We need to select this option, to get the alpha channel. Then select the other fields as usual, like you can change the frame rate from here, or you can change this output frame range as you may need. Finally, we have to select the location where we want to save the output video. Now this will generate a video with transparent background, and we can start the render process from here. It will create a video with a transparent background, which you can place over any other image file, or on top of another video. But for a transparent fire, or smoke, there is another technique, which we'll discuss in our next video. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.